Guys, if you're going to be taking the GR in the next two months, this is the only video you will ever need to ace the test. All right, you can use this video to get a 320 plus, 330 plus, or even as close as a 340. But what you need to do is to follow the schedule diligently. So going right from beginner to expert, your day by day plan is mapped out right over here. And this is the latest one, by the way, for 2023 and other candidates, of course, in the future as well. And the important thing here is that there's no coaching needed. Very important. Works for everyone, students, working professionals, we've tried it on every single kind of person. And really, no matter what you're doing, you can actually pull this off just by following this proven methodology. And a lot of study material is going to be made available to you when you just go ahead and sign up on ymgrad.com. Very important, remember that. So before we actually get into the schedule, a little bit about me. I took the GRE myself and over here you can see my scores. They're a little shy of 330 itself. And it's been a long time since I took the test, but I've been working with a lot of students as well and helping them ensure that they get similar scores, if not better. I've made hundreds of customized plans, just like the one that I'm going to be giving you in, in this video for free, by the way. And all of those have been paid until now. And on top of that, we also have helped 5,000 plus students get into their green universities overseas. So we do a lot of stuff, including SOPs and LORs. And if you're interested, you can always take a look at wangrad.com and you can take a look at the service section for it. But this video is about the two month GRE prep plan, everything mapped out. So let's begin. Here's the plan for you guys right here. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta go ahead to the ETS website and you book the test. Very important over here. Why do I want you to book the test? It's simple really. Until you have that, that knife hanging over your head, until you have that deadline that I need to finish off before this point in time or my money goes to a waste, you won't get serious. Happens with a lot of people. And trust me, having that deadline can help massively. Choose a date, in advance so that you can get the date that you want without paying any extra charges for you know a lot of people basically book the test at the end moment which is again a bad thing you get you basically pay more right so we can actually avoid all of that by just booking the test the second thing that we're going to be doing under this plan is that we want to understand our current performance so we'll take a mock test all right we need to understand every person is different from point a to point b maybe for someone this point a is 300 and they just want to get to 320 but for another person this point a could just be 315 and maybe they just want to get to a 325 again it's a very different scenario and you need to understand what is your point a and what is your point b all right where where do you currently stand and what is your goal number three what are we going to talk about over here that is which study material to use i'm going to be giving you the exact names that you need to ace the test now of course this does depend on your current performance and your point a and your point b but from a general point of view, this is what I would recommend. There's of course two types of study materials. Number one, concept building. Number two, practice. First, let's talk about concept building. For concept building, I highly recommend that you stay away from ETS material. If you follow ETS material, the official test makers, their material itself, you will actually fall into their trap. You will think that the test is too easy, but when you actually go onto the test, on the D-Day, you're gonna actually realize that it's actually way harder than they show it. And the concepts, of course, are also not explained so well in ETS books. They just go over them from a bird's eye view, really. So over here, for concept building, the only material that I recommend, and this is the only time I'll tell you that you invest a little bit, is the 1000 Magush GRE questions and videos pack. All right, you get it anywhere. You get it from the official website. You get it from our partner website, where you can get it cheaper as well at newstudymaterial.com. But this is the only premium material that you will ever require for concept building. And I'll highly recommend you go for that because really, that really does actually boost your score based on what I've seen for most applicants. But if you're not willing to invest, that's okay. I have an alternative for you. And this one is available for free. The Manhattan 8 books. These are of course available for free on the Library Genesis website. All right, you go ahead, you find out these books, you type in their names, you can download all the guides in PDF form. Really, very conveniently, you can use them on your laptop. Next, number two, what kind of material will you be using for practice? Very important over here, pay attention. Again, Magush, 1000 questions. If you bought the videos package that comes with 1000 questions, good to go right out the box and they are very close to the actual level of the GRE. So I highly recommend that you use these. There's also the Manhattan five pound book. This is again, one of the best resources if you would like to take the GRE and I highly, highly recommend it. 
Finally, if you have exhausted all of these resources, then you can move on to the Princeton 1014 GRE Questions book. Again, this is one that I recommend that you use as a last resort. You probably won't need anything else after this one. All right, we're good to go. Let's finally get to the chase. Let's talk about the prep plan day by day. What do you have to do depending on, again, you know, who you are essentially and where you stand. All right, remember point A and point B. We're gonna do this in three phases. The first phase is essentially just concept building. So this is going to be in untimed mode entirely. Remember, phase one is going to give us about one month of time. So we have to actually finish it off within one month. To make it easier for you, I recommend that you actually spend two to three days per chapter for quants and six to eight days per question type for verbal. Very important, note it down if you have to, but take care of these. What do you do in this one month? The first day, you actually pick up any chapter, you start watching the Magush videos if you have access to them, or you finish up that chapter from the Manhattan 8 books. But study that particular chapter. It could be anything. It could be just fractions and decimals. It could be anything really, all right? But whatever chapter you pick up, you finish that and you make the notes. Why do you want to make the notes? It's because when you revise, you don't want to go ahead and watch the videos again and again or read the entire book again and again. You basically just want all the important formulas and all the important things that you as a person did not know to be jotted down. All right. Now, if you're short on time, you can take a look at my notes as well. I actually have them up on newstudymaterial.com as well. But I highly recommend that you make your own because that would actually be very catered to your particular requirements. Finally, once you're done watching the videos and making the notes, what I recommend is that you start practicing. That means you start practicing, but in untimed mode. Hence, what I want you to do is on the first day itself, after you have watched the videos or you know made the notes from the book itself, you go ahead and you do 50 questions. I'll recommend that you do these 50 questions in untimed mode. I'll recommend that you do only about five to 10 at a time. So that again, we're focusing on those questions rather than just running through them. The goal is not to finish off the questions. The goal is to actually spend time reviewing and understanding where you are going wrong at this point. So really important, just do about 10 questions. You review them, repeat this five times. All right, that's day one for you. Day two, again, you do the same thing. You do the questions this time. You can revise the notes if you want in the morning and then you do the questions again in un untimed mode. And if you're still not able to do it, you spend the third day doing the same thing. But again, it's really important that you get the gesture over here. We don't want to exhaust the questions. We wanna use a little bit of questions, really just 10, 10 at a time, max to max. And then we wanna go ahead and review very, very quickly. Very important over here. Remember, finally, you always review, very important. And then you move on right from, you know, you day one itself, again, you pick up another chapter and you do this again and again and again, just like that. I told you the schedule, very easy, right? Same thing for quant and verbal, but this happens every single day. So in parallel, you're doing both quant and verbal also on the same day, every single day, okay? Once phase one is over, you move on to phase two. Very important, this is actually your testing phase. What is the testing phase? You actually see if you're able to retain the performance that you had in untimed mode, but only this time with a timer, all right? This phase is going to be for 20 days. So remember, it's very important that you're quicker than, of course, the phase one, all right? What you have to do over here is you pick up a chapter, you revise its notes, really important, really easy, all right? And then you start off with the questions. You practice 60 questions in timed mode. How do you do these 60 questions? You do 20 at a time, just like the actual GRE, right? You do 20 questions, you give yourself the time, 30 or 35 minutes, depending on the section, of course, you know? And then official timer again, same thing, right? You review everything. So you do this price and your 60 questions are done. Of course, after you're done, very important, you review. And as long as you're doing well, you don't really need to spend too much time. You can move on to the next chapter. But within 20 days, you got to finish everything, quant and verbal with the time mode. All right. Remember, it's going to be easy because in phase one, you've already studied all of this. Phase three, mock test. Here's what you got to do. Every single day, you take a mock test. That's easy, right? You don't have to do too much. You take a mock test in the morning. You review it in the afternoon. If you have some weaknesses, you work on them in the evening. That's it. That's phase three for you. Remember, phase three is going to be for 10 days. Of course, if you can do more, do more. It really depends on you. But at least for 10 days, I recommend at least take 10 mock tests before you actually go ahead and sit for the GRE. This will get your mind and your body used to actually sitting down for four hours and taking the test. Now you're going to ask me, that's okay, but where do we get the best mock tests? Which are the best ones? See, mock tests actually come in the form of online accounts. All right, so they're not gonna be in the form of books. So chances are you may not be able to get them for free. But at the same point in time, you can get them for discounted prices on, again, the same website, newstudymaterial.com. Which are the best mock tests to take? I'll tell you in the order you should be taking them. You start with Kaplan tests, all right? Kaplan ones are great. 
really good results, really close to the actual test again. Then you move on to the Princeton ones. Again, same, they're really good. They also evaluate your AWA, by the way. Finally, you move on to the Manhattan ones, all right? That's also going to give you about six tests over here. So that's also great. And they have very good, very tough tests, I would say. And for the last two days, you leave for the ETS Power Brand. Why only the last two days? These are the most accurate, but they have one con. What is it? They don't offer a review. Hence, you don't want to do them in the first couple days because you would not be able to review the tests, right? Hence, that's what you gotta do. Do them in this order itself, all right? Again, you don't have to buy all the tests. You just take any two, I believe, and you should be good to go because there's, I think, a lot more than 10 over here. Couple of pro tips just before you leave. Hear me out, very important. I know a lot of you guys are facing issues with your vocabulary. I know it's hard and you're focusing on GI material, so always focus on making your own dictionary, but also do this 800 word list by Barron's. Very important, all right? Because they actually have a very good hit ratio. It's very easy, you just sign up on yamgrad.com, you complete the offer of the year and you will basically get all the study material directly delivered to you on your email within the next 30 minutes. And on top of that, of course, this word list is given to you for free within that. You can also just search it on, on Google, a lot of times you can find it over there as well. But yeah, don't miss out on the Barron's 800 word list, it's important. The next thing, whenever you're practicing for AWA, I know we didn't talk about that a lot, it's important you understand this. You write your answers on a Windows or a MacBook notepad. Do not use Microsoft Word because that would underline the parts where you get the wrong spelling or you know your tense is incorrect and all that. We don't want any of that, okay? Because you will not have that on the actual test. So we really don't need to actually make it more complicated. We just want to replicate as, as closely as possible really. Finally, after you write down the AWA, the time is over, you go ahead and you evaluate it on this tool called Grammarly. Use the free version or the pro version, I don't mind, but use it so that you at least understand your mistakes and you stop making them over time. And of course, for more such tips and tricks, you can also subscribe to this channel where we have a lot more content for you guys and follow us on Instagram where we actually post a lot more about this as well. I hope that you guys get a massively amazing score. Whatever you, whatever you thought, maybe two or three points more than that in most cases. But yeah, let me know of your scores down below. I hope that this video helps. Goodbye and take care until next time.